Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Animated Autobot Ratchet. Let's look at this vehicle. It rolls the same, but it's just so nondescript. Let me just show you. Just, I wish it had more molding. And this is something the animated line wasn't known for, is its molding. But even this is just too plain. Let's take a look at it. It has this nice little ambulance, or what do you got, paramedic little symbol on the side. You can see the molding on the back. Uh, I like the lights over here. It's not too bad. Okay. Yeah. Molding on the back. Not too bad. Let's see what other things we have here. Kind of well, I don't like the fact that the paint, the side door is just painted. And I wish the window was bigger. It has side mirrors, so it's not too bad. You got this spring over here, or sorry, hinge over here, which I'm not a big fan of. It kind of breaks up the smoothness of it. The panels are visible. The legs don't pop out too well, but even though it's not too bad, molding in the back, the light. Wheels are very nondescript in black and plastic. Uh, you can tell that the legs are there. <laughs> so I like the coloring over here. You got the big Autobot symbol, orange or sorry, yellow lights here. The winch, if needed, kind of neat. Uh, kind of little detailing to the front, and I wish it had more on the side and on the top over here. Maybe some emergency flashing lights or something. It's kind of this was supposed to be clear, translucent for the windows, so it's not bad. But so plain. Um, it's covered well. It rolls well. It's not bad. I wish I had more paint app something to break up this monotony. Okay. 5 out of 10 for the vehicle. Yay. Okay. <laughs> it wants to transform already. So let's do it. Eh, it's gusty. Big deal. So, transformation just to start finally finish. Transformation, we already got the legs popped out so it's no big deal. Hit the uh, side panels. Just move that up. The side panels go up just like that. So you can see the faux side panels. Arms will pop out and you got to be gentle with this. There we go. Make sure you snap off the side there just like that. And the arms will pop out to the side. So there we go. And I love this Automorph gimmick over here. Let's go ahead and separate the legs here. But this Automorph gimmick, once you pop this section down, the head just pops out. Let me show you that again. I just love that. Ready? Yeah, I just like that. It's awesome. I'm going to rotate the arms. There we go. So, same thing on this side. Rotate the arms go and one thing I like is that it, it does have a weapon it's kind of neat I'll show you that later all right now that I separated the legs pull the up and it does have an automorph that the heel spurs just pop out into place so it's kind of neat okay chest comes down torso down just like that Oh yeah, I want to make sure that this uh, back section moves up because we're going to store some components over here. There's little tabs for his tools and he's got a few tools which is kind of neat. And I also like this little spring-loaded gimmick over here for his whatever this is. So, so just whoop, just like that and then he can hold that weapon. Kind of neat. Also on the other side, if you want, you can put his little tools and snap it in. Kind of, kind of spindly. But it'll work just like that so he's yeah he's a mechanic he's here to fix people so it's kind of neat what are the things oh yeah the little tabs on here for the tools if you want you can just tab that in there and it'll hold the tools it comes with three little tools like this hammer adjustable wrench screwdriver I don't know what are you going to be. <laughs> what exactly are you going to be doing with these things? Because they're freaking huge. They're so out of scale. <laughs> All right, going to fold that down. As far as articulation, you got. Oh, while I have this, let me show you the great light piping. Yeah, I like that. And I like the fact that his horn is broken off. 
And I like the baby blue face. There's something about that. He's not smiling or anything. Yeah, but I like the baby blue. I like the clear translucent four. Not only does it have it on his shoulders, but it has it on his, uh, what do you call that, chest piece. But I don't like, he's bulky. You can see the front. He's like, man, I'm fat. I got this bulge in the front. And I really don't like that. And I would love the fact that if it would, the, sorry, the hips would connect or something would connect so that doesn't motion or move. Has ratchet joints on the shoulder. Can move out actually. Has a swivel on the elbow, which isn't great. I do love the individual figure articulation, especially the thumb and the bottom three finger or four. So that's kind of rare on a deluxe figure. No waist articulation, but it has this weird looking up and down motion. Hips are, it looks like I have his ratchet, it has a thigh swivel, which is kind of neat. And it does bend at the, at the knee and it swivels out for some reason. So you got that knock knee appearance if you want. Okay, let's go ahead and stand him up. Oops. Here he is with Megatron for a nice little size comparison. So he's slightly bigger. Uh, one of the things about the animated lines, they were slightly bigger than normal, which is kind of neat. The robot mode is much nicer, so I'll give it a 7 out of 10 for the robot mode. Alright YouTubers, that's all I got, and I'll catch you all next time.